the key is not to have expectations. So when, you, when you're doing the cleaning, you're not cleaning for an outcome. You're cleaning to be free. That's the ultimate goal, is to be free. Because it is at, at, when you're free at freedom, that's the address of the divinity. Zero is the address, because zero is the temple. It's the sacred temple that holds the divine. But when you, when, you, when you carry trash, you are actually, it's a hatred for the divinity. That's what it actually is when you hold on to the trash. So you, being at zero, you represent the, the temple, the sacred temple, what Jesus called the kingdom. But if you have trash going, then it's really hatred for yourself and the divinity. I just want that to be clear so I'm not fussing around, you know? So the idea is, by just doing these things, I love you, thank you, ha, oh, why? Now I'm going to teach you how to do it so that you can do it without doing it. Yeah. So this is what I, this is what I would suggest you do, and, and you should do what works for you. I'm just going to suggest how to do it. Somebody asked me, where did the Ho'oponopono come from? And they were talking about maybe from Samoa or some places like that. Uh, I want to tell you that this, this is what I'm teaching you has come from another galaxy. Another galaxy. You know, so it doesn't have an earthly uh, beginning. Just thought you might be interested. Yeah. So... Let, let's look at this. So this is this is zero. This is the whole universe. Universe is based on zero. That's the foundation of the universe. It's interesting that there's a <coughs> there's a, a, bo a biography of zero. Um, the thing I found fascinating about reading about zero is that the fellow, the, the author starts at chapter zero. Anybody ever read a chapter book that starts at zero? And so the chapter is, is listed as null and void. <laughs> chapter one <coughs> is described as nothing doing. <clears throat> chapter two is nothing comes of nothing. Chapter three, nothing ventured. Chapter four, the infinite God of nothing. Chapter 5, infinite zeros in infidel mathematician. Number 6, listen to this, infinity's twin. That's what zero is. So he goes through all this stuff. And then <clears throat> he concludes, if I can find it. This is about the time of the day where I go into zero. So at the end... Um, this is what he says, all that scientists know is the cosmos was spawned from nothing and will return to nothing from whence it came. The universe begins and ends with zero, and that's what I'm trying to tell you, is that it begins and ends with zero. It began like this, and so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to define for you what religion is. So now you get an inspiration. Inspiration it will last for so many, whatever its purpose, and then this inspiration will turn into memory. But if you carry over like it's the law, then it becomes a religion, what we call a belief, as opposed to your willingness, no matter what it is, you've heard, you actually got an experience of the divinity talking to you, you're always erasing it. Always, always, always. You're never holding on to anything. Because the wonderful thing about being at zero is there's no right or wrong. Can I say that? There's no right or wrong at zero. So there's no discussion. Once you're at zero, there's nobody, nobody's going to care about the discussion. If you're not at zero, a lot of bullshit will go on. So here you are at zero. And what's so wonderful is that, again, looking at this, turning the mind sideways, when you're at zero, divinity then can come through you. I am the I. I come forth from the void, zero, into light. So now that comes on, you, you get this inspiration, you're moving and you're moving, 
and you, you keep doing something that then finally becomes a memory, you're stuck with it. So the Ho'oponopono is about constantly cleaning so that you're always coming home to zero. You're not holding on to anything. Never, never. No attachments. So you're constantly coming home to yourself because you're what Shakespeare called the stage. You're the stage at which either, either inspiration will take place or garbage in memory. Yeah? So this is, this is the law. These two will affect that. Th these are the two laws of the universe. And the, these two laws run zero. So now the only question is which law are you going to choose? This law or this law? And so you don't have to <coughs> be aware of anything except you're willing to clean. The law will take care of Seek ye first the kingdom, and all else will be added. So that's, your job is simply here just to clean non-self. So we've gone over this, and here's the way you want to do it. So this is you, made from zero. You're the, this is the mother part of you. And this is, the, this is the child part of you. So now a new tool comes up. Did you get Hawaii as a tool before? No. So let's say you got a tool called Hawaii. So the mother says to the child, hey, we got a tool called Hawaii. And remember what the cleaning does. The cleaning sets us free. So the mother's talking to the child. No? The cleaning, if we're willing to do the cleaning, you and I will be free. And at freedom, divinity will move us. So that's all you're doing. So you're, as you do the, the cleaning, you're talking to this child, because at some point, the child will do it for you. At some point, if the child sees that you're consistent, consistently taking good care of it, because it's the one that suffers, and you're saying, every time we say Hawaiian, now, we're doing what we came to do. We are come to set ourselves free from the data. So Shakespeare said, to be or not to be free. And the Ho'oponopono is about giving you the choice of freedom. Either by doing Hawaii, either you have a choice to stay stuck, and most people stuck, or you can let go and allow dominion to come down take you back home to zero. Now you're the sacred temple. And because the divinity is behind, already in the zero, then everything just flows until more doo-doo comes up. So the idea is to not, not stop. Don't stop cleaning. Don't get, don't go the way of thinking, coping, managing, asking questions, because it'll keep you stuck. So I'm going to pause, see if you have a yes. You're smiling. That's a good start. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I was just looking at your mother and child yes. analogy yeah. and the way you're explaining it. And yeah. I um, just reflecting, I've got a five year old daughter and she's been yeah. very strong willed. And yeah. since reading the book, I've just constantly, like nearly every sentence, um, yeah. there's part of it, you know, I love you in it or thank you. Um, and so much when she doesn't want to do something, it's just, I'm sorry. You know, I don't, you know, just keep telling her, I'm sorry, you don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all I say. And yeah. how much it's changed everything. Like, I'm not trying to discipline her or find the new discipline or find the new food thing or trying to, you know, to get her to eat or anything. Um, and just watching that analogy, it's just um, as an analogy of mother and child, but just the. You know, and using the cleaning technique on just that, but just within the relationship, um, is it's, it's so true. Yeah. So you don't 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 hold on to that. So you have a five-year-old daughter. Yes. So I tell you the best time to talk to somebody. When would be the best time to talk to somebody? Ho'oponopono. Maybe you've heard of it. Maybe you haven't. If you haven't heard of it, brace yourself because it's the most powerful, the most transformational, the most magical, the most miraculous technique I've ever come across. I'm Dr. Joe Vitale. I've written 80 books. I've recorded 15 albums. I have 200 some products. I have a coaching program, certification programs, but nothing ever has had the impact in my life as Ho'oponopono has. I've been teaching it to other people since around 2005. 
There is great depth to it, though it's very simple. On the very superficial level, there's really only four phrases, and you're kind of saying them as a quiet prayer or petition. But there's so much more to it than that. And what I really want you to do is check it out. I want you to check it out for you, your family, your friends, and ultimately for the world. It's that powerful. And as I like to say, expect miracles.